and who's two LMPD officers and a suspect were hospitalized today after a police chase ended in a crash. It happened around one o'clock this afternoon near Valley Station. WLKY's Drew Gardner was there and joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Drew? Yeah, Rick, this all began as a traffic stop on a stolen truck, but it ended with the truck crashing into an LMPD cruiser and eventually a fence. Now, I spoke with a woman tonight who was inside her home just feet away from where the crash happened. This is just the fun at the corner of Laurel River and Morwick. This happens. Jeannie McMonagall was in good spirits Tuesday afternoon despite being jolted out of bed when a truck came crashing into her fence just outside her bedroom. I look out and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I mean it shook. You could tell, whatever, whatever hit, it shook. When McMonagall looked outside, she saw a swarm of police and at least two squad cars with damage. All I could think was thank God that the fence stopped them. That was my first thought, because that could have been really bad. And then my other thought was, oh, I hope no police officers were hurt, because the cars were banged up pretty bad. As she stepped outside to find out exactly what was happening, officers quickly told her to get back in the house. And his tone, he was polite, but he was, you know, the tone. I thought, oh, whatever's going on, it's bad. LMPD tells us around 1 o'clock, an officer spotted the truck, which was reported stolen. He then stopped the truck, and when the officer approached, the driver took off, dragging the officer until he fell to the ground. A short chase ended here when the truck hit a marked cruiser and then this fence. The suspect and two officers went to the hospital with what appeared to be minor injuries. I'm just thankful, you know, police officer is fine, he's good, fence can be replaced, that's not a big deal, nobody else is injured. The guy, that's his problem, not mine. As for the damage left behind, she's leaving that up to her husband. And LMPD tells us the stolen vehicle was the result of a domestic incident that began earlier in the day. The 3rd Division and Domestic Violence Unit are now handling this investigation. Charges are still pending. Live in the newsroom tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew. And